Well, while the summer vacation is an enjoyable time for many, it can pose problems for organizations like the American Red Cross. Blood donations are typically lower in the summer. Lacey Montellion is live in the studio now, and she spoke with one uh, with the American Red Cross at one local blood drive to find out why. And she joins us now with more. Lacey, what can you tell us? Well, Dennis, declines in blood donations do tend to occur during holidays and during the summer. But since issuing an emergency appeal in June, Red Cross officials say while donation numbers are beginning to improve, they have not yet reached their goal. For organizations like the Red Cross, blood donations are in need of a boost. Kind of where we are now is a little bit low. We generally in our summer months are lower. We don't have more people are vacationing. Gabler says that right now they are just making it. If we had a few extra people at each blood draw, it would help bring the levels up a little bit higher just so then we can have a little bit more of a cushion so we're not just going from day to day. Every day the Red Cross must collect about 17,000 pints of blood. During the school year, donations at college and high school blood drives account for about 20% of donations. During the summer, those donations drop. Generally, summertime, the kids are, or the students are working and doing stuff like that where it's not as accessible for them to come in rather than when we actually go to the school. For those blood donors that do manage to make it in the summer, they say blood drives like this one are just too important. Uh, I haven't had a need for it myself or a family member yet, but I assume someday that could happen, so that's why show up here. While certain blood types do go quicker than others, the Red Cross is encouraging all donors to give. Right now we need every blood type. Just with our, our shortage right now where we are getting very low with every blood type. Now Red Cross officials say that if at least three additional people show up at each blood drive, then the Red Cross will have enough blood on the shelves to get them through the rest of the summer. So for those looking to get a break from the summer heat, you should visit a local blood drive and bring a friend. Dennis. All right, good advice, Lacey. Thank you. For more information on where other blood drives will be in the area, you can visit www.redcross.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.